going to head out to Dimples, where they said that I have a um, Xbox. They found one for me. I've been waiting like four months for them to get one in. I better shut the radio off here. And they finally have got one in. So I'm really pumped about going to pick it up for a whopping $40. They test every system, so compared to getting it on eBay, where it may or may not work, this is actually a pretty viable deal. So I've been looking for about four months. They go like hotcakes. You can get the PS2s a little bit easier, but the regular Xboxes are tough. And it's supposedly it's a real clean one, so... back out of my driveway here. So I'm really excited about picking this thing up. This has been a long dream. I got rid of mine in 09 and took it to another, a different Dimples, and I think they gave me 26 bucks for it, which wasn't much, but, and of course, all those games that I had for it, too, but, um, I'm all, they also are holding for me a copy of, um, Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green, they've got an absolutely perfect condition copy, even the box, everything is, like, brand new, mint condition, and they're gonna hold that for me as well, so, I'm really pumped about getting it. Beautiful day. We've had a rash of rain lately, and um, the weather is really nice. So it's nice to take a nice drive on a beautiful day. These are a bunch of homes from the 50s in our neighborhood here. They're from the late 50s, early 60s. dream coming. I still have to find my Super NES. Now that I may have to look on eBay for that. Those are much harder to come by. They have them on occasion, but they go pretty fast. I do have one manager there that if I tell him to look for it, he'll hold it aside for me and call me, but that's when he's there. Other days, someone else is there, and I can't control what happens to the consoles, but uh, I still have to find that Panasonic 3DO. I have a feeling that's going to cost me a few bucks and probably the Super NES as well, not to mention the games, which you know are going up in value faster than the damn muscle cars are. So I'm going to get on the freeway and then head over to Roseville and um, pick up my unit. I'm excited. Freeway. This heads out to Reno, Nevada. This freeway. I've got it. I'm on my way home. It's right here in a box. A couple games. All packaged up. I'm excited. It's all been tested. Um, I've been waiting, God, for like four months. I keep calling him constantly and asking him, and they just happened to call him today. They also had a copy of a game I've been looking for for months, if, if not a year, 
called Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, Flat Out 2, for the Xbox 360. It's really hard to come by. It's an excellent driving game, which I also played on the regular Xbox. And, um... Played on the regular Xbox and really enjoyed it. And then I had it for the Xbox 360 a long time ago and traded it in for something else. I kind of miss it now, and it's very hard to come by. It's actually a really good game. The flat-out uh, game was really good, the first one, but the second one I like a lot better, and it looks even better on the Xbox 360. There's a lot more particle effects, and uh, graphics are good. It's very arcadey, but a lot of fun, so I'm very interested in that. So I've got, right here, I've got flat-out Ultimate Carnage, and Land of the Dead. Land of the Dead set me back about 20 bucks and about $14 for the flat out Ultimate Carnage, which is hard to come by. So this Land of the Dead is absolutely mint condition. The box, original booklet, everything inside, excellent condition, no scratches. So I'm really pumped. So I'm on my way back now, heading back home, and uh, I'm going to, you know, look at this thing and set it all up. It looks like it's in great shape. It looks as good as the one that I traded in, so I couldn't ask for anything more. So I'll see you back uh, back at the ranch in a bit here. So I scored. I've got my goods here. I'm anxious to take them inside and unbox them. I'm almost home now. This has been a long time coming. I've been really excited about finally getting this Xbox and going back to the Xbox games. I'm going to try to find like an S-video cable or see if there's some kind of an HDMI setup, but I'm really excited, so I'm home now. And uh, back at the ranch. All right. So here it is. Here's my, my new Xbox, or should I say the, the second one that I've owned. I bought the other one brand new. Uh, when I first bought my Land of the Dead Road to Fiddler's Green, which I got an absolutely mint copy. This thing is just in absolutely perfect condition. This I got for $19.99 for $20. Bucks. Complete, clean manual. The disc is absolutely perfect. This you could spend $80 on eBay for one in this condition. So I, I really scored. So I got this and the Xbox for a whopping $60. $40 for the Xbox itself, $20 for the game. So for the cost of, you know, a brand new Gran Turismo 6, I got my old Xbox back and uh, and I got my very first game. So I'm going to have to get more. Now I do have um, Manhunt for the Xbox as well, which I've got, uh, oh, here it is right here. So I do have two Xbox games that I can technically play. But um, I'm really excited about that. And then I also found a very rare, I've been looking for almost a year for this, Flat Out Ultimate Carnage for the Xbox 360. Now, I had this also for the Xbox and loved it. It's one of my favorite arcade uh, games with great damage modeling. Really good, a great first-person view behind the, you know, where you can look over the hood. And it's a very fun, highly recommended arcade game. It also has these other little uh, challenge modes that you can do where you have these ragdoll physics with a guy inside where you can hit the brakes or hit something and the guy flies through the windshield and does all this crap. It's really cool, but this is a great game. Uh, the Xbox 360 version had even better graphics, more destructible environments, uh, more particle effects, things on the roadway, and uh, it's a great game. I've been looking virtually over a year for this. Now, I could have got it on eBay, but... I got this for uh, $13.99, a really good deal. It's also complete in excellent condition, so I'm really pumped about this. This is another great, great quality disc. Put it back the right way. And it comes with a nice manual, the whole deal. So this has been a long time coming for this. This has been a great day, I'll tell you. I, I really had a wonderful time. I had my sunroof open, enjoyed the drive down, picking this up. But it's nice to finally have my Xbox back. Uh, I didn't know, I was going to wait actually a few months, but I've been calling them every week. I call them, like on a Monday morning, and I say, do you have any, you know, uh, Super NESs in? Do you have any Xboxes in? 
And then I just happened to call and asked about this flat out game and they go yeah we have flat out and i said oh by the way i said do you have any uh, xboxes and they go you know we just got one in over the weekend you want us to set it aside for you dean i said oh my, for the love of god please so they set it aside it's in absolutely mint condition it looks great it's really in wonderful shape it's being tell it's been taken care of there's one light scratch right up on the top up here it's very light but other than that it's like brand new they had the kind of one of those see-through halo controllers, the greenish ugly controllers. They let me trade a, a regular black one and everything works perfect. It looks like it's barely been used. So I scored. The only thing I'm going to try to find is like an S-video cable hookup so I can play it with my TV down underneath uh, and just get a little bit better quality because you know it has those RCA component hookup now which works fine but the S-video cable would be even better and I think they might even have an HDMI hookup to where I can play this and record footage on my big 46 inch flat screen, which would really be cool. So, I've had so many friends that are already beat me to the punch and got one of these Xboxes, and that's all I've been talking about and thinking about. Man, I gotta get an Xbox. So, I actually got a little bit sooner than I had planned, but I thought, for God, for the cost of a brand new game, I got my old Xbox back, an excellent controller, one of my very favorite games of all time. This is one of the finest zombie games ever made by my favorite, uh, wonderful George Romero. He's a great director. He really is the, the godfather of the zombie genre, and no one does it better than him. So this game is highly recommended. It's a very avant-garde, strange video game, but I would highly recommend it. Uh, it's just nice to go back to the roots of the zombie game. So this is going to be a big treat tonight. I'm going to be popping a fresh IPA beer and enjoying this wonderful game system. I can't wait. This is really a big treat. So thanks, guys. Um, I, I've been really inspired by lots of wonderful gameplay videos, different people um, that have, have recently I've been enjoyed, especially over in the UK where they've got Xboxes. And I see their pickup videos. I've been salivating and just chomping at the bit to get my own Xbox, and I'm really excited. So uh, I'm, I'm encouraged. I'm going to be watching a lot more gameplay videos. If you have any great Xbox gems that you feel that I just I have to experience, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'd love to hear which, 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 the games that you like, the games that you would recommend that were your top, you know, five or ten favorites for the Xbox. I'm going to be composing a list. I have a list of about five or six right now. I want to get the Punisher. I want to get Cold Fear. Uh, I might even get their very original, the very first Forza. Um, um, you know, I'm debating maybe even the Godfather, some of those older classics. Uh, that I really enjoyed, even Freedom Fighters. Even though I have it for the PS2, I'd like to get it again for the Xbox. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I just was excited. I had to do a little pickups video and show you my new find. I'm really pumped. And, uh, you know, next I'm going to be holding out for a Super NES. Now, that I might have to go online and, and get that online. They rarely come across a Super NES. They go like hotcakes. He's, the guy says the day they come in, quite often they go out the same day. So i got a, a manager there that's going to be watching for me, but sometimes he's not there. One can come in, he doesn't know about it, and then I'm kind of out of the loop. So the worst-case scenario for the Panasonic 3DO or for the Super NES, I may just have to just bite the bullet and go on eBay and take my chances. So we'll see. So anyway, thank you, guys. I appreciate your support, and uh, I just was really excited about sharing this whole pickups deal. This has been a big treat for me. I got my PlayStation 2 last year, and then finally now I've got my Xbox. So now all I've got left is the, the 3DO, the Super NES, and then I'm also looking to get a Genesis console. So maybe you can help me out also in the comments. Would you recommend a Dreamcast, the Sega Genesis, the original one, or the Slash 32X, or perhaps even a Sega Saturn? I, I'd like to get at least one Sega system as well. So what would you recommend and what five games for that system would you recommend as well? So thanks guys so much for watching and enjoy your retro consoles or new ones and the games that come with them. Thanks again guys.